For a top secret operation, you'd expect the government to use a trained spy. But did you know that NIST was part of a top secret mission involving the crown jewels of Hungarian royalty? Mystery Minute. The case of the crown jewels. What exactly are the crown jewels? Mm. They consist of the crown of St. Stephen, Scepter, Orb, and Coronation Robe. Uh -huh. During World War II, the U.S. 86th Infantry Division recovered the stolen crown jewels in Austria. After years of storing the artifacts at the U.S. command post in Munich, Germany, the State Department decided they should be moved to one of the most secure places in the U.S., Fort Knox. But the robe was so fragile that if folded over, it would crack. So the State Department called upon Alan Aston, then director of NIST, to help. Aston assigned the task to NIST researcher Gordon Klein, an expert in the preservation of historic materials. Klein flew to Bonn, Germany to check on the condition of the road before devising a plan to transport it. His team settled on a plywood container in which the road could be laid flat as the transportation vessel. Once in the U.S., it was placed in a sturdier and more protective container developed by NIST engineers. The royal artifacts were stored underground at Fort Knox with a special seal on the locked vault. Klein's house key was a unique imprint and one of the security features on the seal. There were many tales about the crown jewels, including speculation that they were at the Vatican. But the truth about what happened only came to light in 1978 when President Carter decided it was time to return them to Hungary. These days, NIST continues to help preserve other historical artifacts, from the Declaration of Independence to the Emancipation Proclamation. Curious when NIST research will turn up next? Visit us at www.nist.gov.